Unlikely as it sounds, we now have an image of that invisible space anomaly, a black hole. We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. Black holes are enigmatic, intriguing, and steeped in mystery. We don't really know a lot about them. For a significant portion of human history, astronomers have only a basic understanding of our celestial surroundings, and the concept of black holes was unfathomable. Galileo, in the early 1600s, was the first one to propose a system of planets that orbited the sun, a system that included our very own blue planet. It wasn't until the 1800s that we began seeking evidence through the first generation of astrophotography. The first ever photograph of an astronomical object, the moon, was taken in 1840. In the late 19th century, things really started taking off when advances in technology allowed for detailed stellar photography. Almost 150 years later, we've traveled to the moon and back, sent probes that have already scoured the solar system and beyond, caught picturesque views of galaxies billions of light years away, and even captured an image of a black hole. Our quest for answers has led us to many mysteries and discoveries that have puzzled even the brightest minds. Among these, black holes continue to bewilder us. Now, we might have come across numerous pieces of information about black holes in the past, and it's been spoken about by countless astrophysicists that we're already pretty familiar with what they are, but we still have no idea what goes on inside these behemoth celestial objects. With decades of research, we might be getting closer to some answers. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku recently revealed that we might just be able to finally understand black holes through the new images, and this new data will change everything we know about our universe. Before we dive straight in, we need to bridge the gap in some misinformation that's out there about black holes. Even though hints of black holes were suggested much earlier, in 1916 Albert Einstein predicted black holes based on his theory of relativity. These predictions were derived from mathematical solutions within Einstein's equations, which described the shape of space and its connection to the distribution of matter. The actual discovery of the black hole solution came in 1915, when Carl Schwarzschild found that they create significant distortion in space and have a puncture in the fabric of space-time. However, their existence as physical objects remained uncertain. Evidence supporting black holes began to accumulate as scientists observed other remnants of stellar death, such as pulsars or neutron stars. But it took a while for scientists to actually find evidence of black holes in the real world, almost 50 years to be precise. And in 1964, they discovered the first black hole called Cygnus X-1 right here in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. They noticed that it was pulling in material from a nearby star, and as it did, it produced X-rays. The X-ray sources were detected from a bright blue star orbiting a mysterious dark object. Although we didn't have an image yet, it was proposed that the observed X-rays were a consequence of the bright star shedding its material, which was then consumed by the dark object, an entity known as a black hole which possesses an insatiable appetite. This discovery provided compelling evidence for the reality of black holes and confirmed their presence in the cosmos. It marked a significant milestone in our understanding of these enigmatic objects that defy the conventional rules of physics. By combining Einstein's theoretical framework, observational data, and advancements in our technological capabilities, scientists continue to explore and unravel the secrets of black holes, further expanding our knowledge of the universe and the extraordinary phenomena it contains. Scientists finally concluded that black holes are indeed an area in space where gravity is incredibly strong. It's so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. This happens because of general relativity, which says that if there's a lot of mass squished into a small space, it can create a black hole by warping or bending space-time. The edge of a black hole where nothing can escape is called the event horizon. It's like a point of no return. When something crosses that boundary, its fate is sealed, but interestingly, according to general relativity, we can't see any special features there. It's like an invisible wall. A black hole is so dark that it doesn't give off any light. It acts like a perfect black body, reflecting nothing. In addition, black holes may emit a type of radiation, but it's so faint that we can't directly see it. They remain one of the most mysterious and fascinating objects in the universe. This groundbreaking discovery provided compelling evidence for the reality of black holes, confirming their presence in the universe and marking a significant milestone in our understanding of these puzzling entities. The term black hole was later coined in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler, with the discovery of Cygnus X-1, scientists embarked on a tireless journey to find more of these mysterious black holes, and they found that about one in every thousand stars has the potential to become a black hole due to its massive size. These numbers were put together by the Space Telescope Science Institute, or STSCI. Since our Milky Way is home to over 100 billion stars, 
It is estimated that there are approximately 100 million black holes in our galaxy. Detecting black holes is a challenging task, and NASA estimates suggest that there could be anywhere from 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. Scientists eventually found the black hole closest to Earth, known as the Unicorn, located around 1,500 light years away. This black hole earned its nickname for two reasons. Firstly, it resides in the constellation Monoculus, which translates to the Unicorn. Secondly, it is exceptionally unique due to its extremely low mass, weighing only about three times that of our Sun. The birth of black holes was another phenomenon scientists needed to explore. As it stands, they currently believe that black holes can be formed through two main processes. The first pathway involves the death of massive stars. When stars that are around 8 to 10 times larger than our sun run out of fuel, they explode in a dramatic event called a supernova. What remains after the explosion is a very compact and dense object known as a black hole. These black holes, called stellar mass black holes, have a mass that is a few times greater than our sun. However, not all stars end up becoming black holes. Stars with lower masses become either neutron stars or white dwarfs instead. The second way black holes can form is through the direct collapse of gas. This process leads to the creation of massive black holes, ranging from 1,000 to even 100,000 times the mass of our sun. Unlike the first pathway, this process bypasses the formation of a traditional star and is believed to have occurred in the early universe. It is thought to give rise to black hole seeds that grow into these larger black holes. So, black holes can be born from the remnants of massive stars or through the collapse of gas. These different formation channels result in black holes of varying sizes, with stellar mass black holes being a few times the mass of the sun, while the direct collapse of gas can lead to much more massive black holes. The biggest black hole-related revelation and one of the biggest discoveries in astronomy came in 2019. The Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, collaboration captured and shared the very first image ever taken of a black hole. This extraordinary achievement involved observing the black hole in the center of the galaxy, M87 or Messier 87, specifically focusing on the event horizon, the point beyond which nothing can escape from a black hole. The image created by the EHT not only provided a visual representation of the black hole, but also revealed important information about its behavior. By mapping the sudden disappearance of light particles called photons, scientists gained valuable insights into the nature of black holes. This groundbreaking image marked a significant milestone and opened up new avenues of research and exploration in the field of black hole studies. Astronomers now have an actual image of what a black hole looks like, allowing them to delve deeper into their properties and characteristics. Continuing on this exciting journey in 2021, astronomers presented an even more detailed view of the enormous black hole at the center of M87. This time, they captured the black hole in polarized light, which provides a different perspective Polarized light waves have distinct orientations and brightness compared to regular light, and this new image revealed fascinating details about the black hole. It showcased the presence of magnetic fields by displaying the polarization pattern in the ring surrounding the black hole. The images of M87 helped scientists understand that black holes have different parts, the event horizon, the singularity, and the outer layers. The event horizon is like the boundary around the black hole. Once something crosses this boundary, it can't escape, not even light. Gravity is consistently intense at the event horizon. The singularity is the center of the black hole where all its mass is squeezed into a single point in space. Scientists can't directly see black holes like they see stars. Instead, they look for the radiation emitted when dust and gas get pulled into a black hole. But sometimes, matter bounces off the event horizon and shoots out in powerful jets. These jets can be seen from far away, even if the black hole itself is hidden. Since black holes cannot be directly seen, NASA scientists studied the core of a galaxy called M87, located 50 million light-years away from Earth. They discovered that the core of M87 contained a violent and swirling mass of superhot hydrogen gas, spinning at an incredible speed of 1.2 million miles per hour. To keep this spinning gas from flying apart, there had to be an enormous mass concentrated at the center, weighing as much as 2 to 3 billion suns. Such an incredibly massive object would trap light, and that's why it is called a black hole. This led to another phenomenal discovery in our very own backyard, the Milky Way. In May 2022, scientists shared the first ever picture of the swirling material called an accretion disk around Sagittarius A star, which is believed to be a black hole. They used a global network of radio observatories called the Event Horizon Telescope. This was the second confirmed image of a black hole. The actual black hole itself cannot be seen, but we can observe the behavior of nearby objects influenced by its strong gravity. 
The radio and infrared energy we detect comes from gas and dust that get extremely hot, reaching millions of degrees, as they fall into the black hole. Here's where Michio Kaku, the American activist, futurologist, popular science writer, and theoretical physicist, brings up a controversial aspect of black holes. The mystery of what happens on the other side of a black hole has always captured the attention of physicists. If someone were to fall into a black hole, would they be crushed by its strong gravity, as many scientists think, or could they end up in a parallel universe or a different time? Kaku, who is the professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York and CUNY Graduate Center, explains that solving this puzzle requires exploring some fascinating and mind-boggling ideas in modern physics. Scientists are investigating theories like wormholes, which are like shortcuts through space, and white holes, which are the opposite of black holes. They are also considering the concept of time machines and even delving into the possibilities of higher dimensions beyond our usual three dimensions. It's a challenging journey for scientists as they navigate through these complex theories to unravel the secrets of black holes and uncover what lies beyond them. In 1963, mathematician Roy Kerr from New Zealand proposed a unique idea about spinning black holes using Einstein's theory of gravity. According to his theory, if someone were to fall into a black hole, they might pass through a tunnel known as the einstein rosen Britain and emerge from a white hole in a parallel universe. Kerr suggested that instead of collapsing into a single point, a spinning black hole would form a ring of fire due to its rapid rotation, which would prevent complete collapse. Surprisingly, a spacecraft passing through this ring might survive the journey without being crushed and come out unharmed on the other side, potentially in a parallel universe. This concept of a wormhole could potentially connect to different universes or distant parts of the same universe. However, it is important to note that this idea is still debated and has not been confirmed. Imagine a magical portal like the Looking Glass in Alice's Adventures. This portal is called a Care Wormhole. If you step through it, you could instantly find yourself in a different universe or even travel back in time. It's like having two worlds connected through this magical portal. Some scientists think that black holes or wormholes could be used as shortcuts or time machines to explore other parts of the universe or visit the past, but there are also scientists who doubt this idea. They argue that wormholes could potentially be unstable and perilous. There are many debates and discussions about it. The problem is that our current theories cannot fully explain what happens inside black holes or wormholes. These theories only work for gravity and don't include the smaller particles and forces that govern radiation and subatomic particles. There needs to be a better theory, a theory of everything that combines both gravity and these smaller forces to understand and solve the mysteries of black holes and wormholes. It's a big challenge, but scientists are working hard to find answers and unlock the secrets of these fascinating phenomena in the universe. Kaku explains further. He says that in the world of science, there are two important theories. Einstein's theory of gravity, which explains how big things like galaxies and black holes behave, and the quantum theory, which describes the behavior of tiny particles, What's interesting is the stark contrast between these two theories. Despite their differences, scientists have long been striving to amalgamate them into a single unified theory. This is where superstring theory comes in. It is a promising candidate that can bring together gravity and quantum physics. According to superstring theory, subatomic particles are like vibrations of tiny strings similar to how musical notes are created by the vibrations of a violin string. These strings can explain the strange rules of quantum physics. As these strings move and vibrate, they also affect the fabric of space around them, giving rise to phenomena like black holes and wormholes. So, the superstring theory not only combines Einstein's theory and quantum physics, but also provides a coherent and fascinating explanation for the workings of the universe. It is a remarkable idea that holds great promise in our quest to understand the fundamental nature of our world. The deeper we delve, the more these theories sound like science fiction. But stay with me, folks, because it gets fascinating Kaku goes on to explain that in superstring theory, strings can vibrate in ten dimensions. This allows us to combine gravity and subatomic physics into one theory. To understand this, imagine carp swimming in a pond. They live in a two-dimensional world, only aware of length and width. They can't grasp the idea of height. But when rain falls and creates ripples on the pond's surface, the carp can see the waves moving, even though they can't see the third dimension itself. Similarly, we can't directly see the extra dimensions, but we can see their effects when they vibrate light rippling along the fifth dimension. Having more dimensions lets us include more forces, such as nuclear forces. However, some critics challenge this theory because we don't see these extra dimensions in our experiments. Some scientists theorize that during the Big Bang, the universe had all ten dimensions active, but soon after, six dimensions became tiny and hidden. This theory provides insights into the creation of the universe, when all ten dimensions played a role. 
While we haven't proven it yet, it offers a fascinating explanation for space and time. The mathematics of superstring theory in the tenth dimension is incredibly exquisite, but also very complex. It has fascinated mathematicians and pioneered new areas of study, however. Solving the problem of a quantum black hole remains a challenge. The necessary mathematics for this task has not yet been discovered. Despite the difficulty, many physicists are determined to solve superstring theory. Numerous papers have been written on the subject, showing the dedication of bright young theorists. Progress has been slow but steady. Recently, there was a significant breakthrough where physicists found a solution for a quantum black hole, although the calculations were only done in two dimensions, not the full ten. Physicists believe it's only a matter of time before someone solves this tricky problem. The equations are well defined, but it will take more time and effort. So for now, it's still too early to plan trips through wormholes or time-traveling adventures. Although there are still unanswered questions and ongoing debates, the quest to understand them fully remains captivating. We eagerly anticipate future breakthroughs in theories and experiments. In the meantime, we can appreciate the awe-inspiring beauty and complexity of the universe and embrace the exhilaration of exploring the unknown. What are your thoughts on the wormhole theory? Do you believe it is true? When do you think we'll finally be able to understand black holes? Let us know in the comments below.